I was at work where I'm staying and I was watching football as usual. And uh, Bongani called me and like I heard a lot of screams on the Bongani background. Said. Yeah, Bongani is the young man who's staying with us. Okay. Yeah, I'm staying with Makoko and my sister. Yeah. So I quickly phoned my brother, Eng Sevens, and I, a Kalim, and then we rushed home. While we were on our way, and the hospital called, and they told us I need to get to the hospital so that I can give authorization for them to treat her, you know. So we rushed to the hospital where we came here first, and then because she was not here, so we had to go there. So when we got there, we got a shock of our lives because when we left here, everybody thought to go to Ushay's in your So, but when we got there, it was a different case because her skin was peeling off, and when she, while she was helpless uh, on the stretcher, like. I shake, I want and the strayum calma down. Even the sisters never talked about going in So we went out and then Nazis are called over a trauma. What we had, Uguti, the guy came. I only realized yesterday, Uguti, she, she set her on fire via cigarettes. I mean, I thought maybe Umlaito or Minji. So I was trying to figure out when did she get. He get time to light or so can the but if you are pretty quiet and then I'm shy I'm not going to tell her. Oh, which like Nami or Manji we haven't said as a family and actually unpack the whole story. Which we only know that Uma Koko the Gaba to me they were telling him apart when they came back as usual. They got into the house and then Bongani went to his room to take a nap and then a few minutes later my sister came in in flames. I went trying to block the door, asking Mungan to assist her to block the door because the guy was pouring petrol in the kitchen and underneath the door to set them alight both in there and also wanted to bend my mother. I went. So that's when, like, Isikalu understand the, 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 the guy, Eriki, this thing, like, it was premeditated. Like, he has Guti from first. Magaya, a, 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 a petrol station, we don't know whether we are a engine or a shell or a He went and then he bought petrol and then he was thinking about it and he came here and went through my gate and went through the kitchen and, you and know. Here. Yeah, here, like, like kitchen. It was here. He came through the, we picked up pieces of yeah, her skin somewhere. He, yeah, the shoe that she was wearing, there was skin inside. So Umakok was quite a good case. He's collected as long as she was she's because we cannot keep those things <coughs> out. Okay, this is what happened. Ne? He did all what he did and then he ran. We don't know how he got out and yeah. So we mobilized the community and other people to go to clinics and hospitals if there's somebody who's banned but alert as family because Lomunduya Funega committed some crime. So can't use a stand up papi, there's a clinic map, I stand up papi, stand up papi by phone, I was alert I would say, we no muntu figile la ushi. So apparently some somebody can alarm chela with even a wanta funa when I want pelinda win. So he he ran to, to the police station. So a few minutes later Bastella would say stands up, Papa. Massia stands up, Papa. Bastella would say, Oh, a police station, they phone us, Massia stands up, Papa, so I'm funeral. So Massia Lapo, and then a police station was phoning about Tibana. Yeah. I hear everybody is like, Yeah, like, and, and for me, it didn't do justice, you know, because, like, I wanted him to pay. I'm not sure what to show you. 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 I